to May and your career and money reading. This is for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you why you should watch this for your rising sign and not your sun sign. If you don't give a shit, go ahead and watch it, whatever, but it's going to be more accurate for your rising sign. Um, we're going to cover what do career and money look like for you in general this month? What should you be looking forward to? What's going to be your biggest annoyance? Where to look more closely and then general advice and guidance for you. Um, the decks I'm using are this one here, the Psychic Tarot Oracle, which is actually a tarot deck and not an oracle deck, and then the um, Number Guidance deck. Okay, let's get started. Oh, there's links in the description box below um, that are affiliate links for each of these decks. If you like the deck and you want one for yourself, because that's a common question I get in the comments, um, it doesn't cost you more to get them through that link. It just helps me keep making these videos. Okay, let's get started. Sagittarius. Career and money in general. So I just want to show you this. Both of these are related directly to the sacral chakra, which is your fear chakra. So that's a little fucked up, okay? Um, if we are living in a fear energy, we're not attracting what we want. We're not attracting money. We're not attracting the career of our dreams and things like that. We're actually resisting it and pushing it away. So you might be trying new things and it's just not working out for you. That's why, because you're afraid, okay? You're not just like trusting the universe. So in regards to your career, what they're saying is surrender to the universe. Things are gonna move and change and then a new beginning is gonna happen for you, okay? So we just kinda have to let go of what we can't control, stop trying to push and being afraid of new things that we're trying. Um, you'll get the psychic insight uh, with this purple star here that you need. You'll get the right idea as long as you kind of release your need to control your situation that you cannot control right now 100%, okay? Maybe you work in a business that is still open, but there's not as many clients because of coronavirus, or maybe you got furloughed or whatever. It doesn't matter what your situation is, although we can talk about your personal situation in a private reading if you want, links below. But, um, you know, generally speaking, this is the vibe for Sagittarius. And it's one of those things like the more that we have this fear, the more we push away awesome opportunities that the universe is trying to give us. So they're saying you just have to be patient right now, honestly. There's not a lot that you can do in regards to money except for to wait for it to come through. So maybe you, if you live here in the United States, maybe you didn't get your stimulus check yet. Um, and you're just waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, we can't control that Donald Trump is a narcissist who has to write his name on the check and, you know, send a, a letter with a signature on it saying, look what I did, okay? That's not within your control. I'm sorry, it isn't. And you're just gonna have to sit there and wait. Too bad, it sucks. I agree it sucks, but that's life, okay? So sorry about it. <coughs> Excuse me. I know it sounds sarcastic when I say sorry about it, I surely am. Okay, anyway, what do you have to look forward to this month? And they're just saying, look, this is not the month in which your destiny is fulfilled. Like, don't put so much pressure on yourself in regards to your career. Um, in regards to money, everything's going to kind of balance itself out. And it doesn't maybe feel like that for some of you right now, but it will. Okay? Everything is fine. It's going to continue to be fine. Sure, there are hurdles, little hiccups and stuff, but you're going to be okay. I promise. Um, the biggest annoyance for you this month. The biggest annoyance for you this month is that I just said everything's going to be fine in regards to your money because <laughs> you might not be thinking that way. But like I said, your fear chakra is super lit up. Um, now, this card just popped up from a different deck. Um, this is from the, the Ky Kyle Gray Angel Prayers deck, I believe. This is what the back of it looks like. So anyway, they're saying, look, synchronicities are going to happen, okay? Trust your angels. Like, what's meant for you is going to happen in the right time, in the right way. Trust your instincts, trust your guidance, instead of trusting your fear. It's very important. So where do you need to look more closely? Um, in career, you need other people to help you. You can't do things on your own. Teamwork makes the dream work. In regards to um, your money, it's like you should be very, very thankful 
and kind of almost do shout outs to anyone who helps you. If somebody sends you assistance, if somebody gives you a tip, if somebody says you're doing a great job, um, make sure you kind of praise them for praising you and appreciating you because people do appreciate you. But the more that you show your gratitude outwardly to others, the more that others are inspired to help you. Does that make sense? Okay, so general advice and guidance for you overall is what I was just mentioning there. Um, this is gonna help you to feel more safe and secure and kind of to fix that fear energy in regards to your abundance. I love you so much and I will see you next month. Oh, 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 oh,